take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just get a sense that tension, stress, anxiety is leaving your body in your outward breath, enabling you to feel deeper and deeper relaxed just by breathing in and breathing out. I want you to increase the depth of your inward breath and slow down the outward breath as you start training your body to breathe deeper in and deeper out, slower and deeper. As I want you to feel a growing connection with yourself. There are many things that you can control, but all I want you to control here is your breathing. Slow down your breathing. Breathe in deeper. Breathe lower than your chest down into your diaphragm. And as you exhale, slowly release that breath, enabling anything that feels unresourceful to be leaving your body in your outward breath. That's right. As you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine standing at the edge of a beautiful, serene lake. Maybe it's surrounded by trees. Maybe there's blue skies and fluffy white clouds. You might even be able to see the reflection of some of those clouds in the water of the serene, still lake. As you continue to breathe in and breathe out, notice the calm waters stretching out before you. The calmness of the waters also represent the lack of wind. The clouds aren't moving. It's almost like they're just hovering there, staying there in the sky. Really tap into the tranquility of this setting. And notice it's even easier for you to breathe in and breathe out as you really notice the the calmness and more importantly the safety that you feel in this environment. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine a hologram hovering over the stillness of the lake, almost like a three-dimensional projection of memories. I want you to remember and then project it above the still lake, things that you consider to be traumatic from your past. Maybe your childhood, maybe your teenage years, or maybe more recently. You don't have to remember everything. You might not even remember the details, but allow your subconscious mind to create a three dimensional representation, a hologram hovering over that lake, and see that younger version of you dealing with what you dealt with with all the resources that you had back then the confidence you had back then the knowledge you had back then the wisdom you had back then your belief systems the ways of thinking about the world the ways of thinking about 
cause and effect, reactions, consequences, and observe that version of you doing the best you could with what you had back then. Almost like you're watching yourself in a three-dimensional movie, there over the calmness of the lake. And as you focus on those traumatic experiences or memories that were distressful and traumatic at the time, I want you to notice what you now feel when you think about those times. Allow yourself to feel any emotion that may come up. Of course, you're a different person now. So you have a level of perspective and objectivity that you didn't have back then when it was happening. So any emotion is totally fine. That could be anger, sadness, anxiety or shame. Whatever you feel is completely okay. Because when traumatic things happen, you need to know that what happened wasn't okay. There is no excusing the past. Sometimes things happen and you can accept something while also simultaneously accepting that it wasn't right, it wasn't okay. You can accept even those things that were unacceptable. And notice those emotions. But also notice where in your body you feel those emotions. Some people believe that the cognitive overload that you experience when something traumatic happens leads your body to store it somewhere in your body to revisit later and that the coping strategies that follow are an attempt to learn from the past to make better choices in the future and I wonder where you feel these emotions as you observe that past as that three dimensional hologram over that still lake And you can zoom in to particular moments or zoom out. You can slow things down and you can rewind things. You can see it from your perspective or you can see it from the perspective of someone else that was there at the time. As you play around with these different angles and directions, you might notice different emotions that come up. I want you to scan your body for all of these emotions but most of all the emotions that are no longer serving you right now and I want you to imagine holding those emotions in your hand transferring the location from inside your body to inside your hands that are cupped and there's been times in your life that you've drunk water by turning your hands into the shape of a small cup and then drinking it from your hands and I want you to imagine that your hands are in that shape in front of you by the side of that lake that calm, tranquil, still lake seeing that three-dimensional representation of something that happened that shouldn't have happened and I want you to imagine those emotions are in your hands almost like a liquid, a colourful liquid that represents these emotions that are no longer serving you. Focus on those emotions but feel like they're in your cupped hands as I give direct suggestions to your subconscious mind. I release you from all the trauma and pain from your past. You are released. You are safe and protected in this present moment. And 
by letting go of the pain and shame of the past, you are now open to receiving love, connection and peace. And if your unconscious mind accepts these suggestions, let me know by nodding your head. That's right. I want you to observe that same three-dimensional memory there over the lake. You focus on the memory as I continue to say the words and notice that the memory is changing. Changing from a moment of trauma to a new moment that taking all the resources you have in the present, all of your knowledge, your wisdom, your understanding, I want you to notice that it changes as you observe that memory. I am releasing you from all trauma and pain from your past. You are safe, protected in this present moment. And then I want you to imagine tipping this liquid that represents the emotions you've been holding on to there into the lake. It's no longer in you, it's fusing into the water of the lake as you now accept that you are open to receiving love, connection and peace. Notice your body is feeling different. But more importantly, notice the memory is changing. And I want you to recreate the past as you would want it to be. If you had access to all the resources you have now back then, how could things be different? Not to create regret, but to learn from that moment, to learn from any moment. The value of trauma is in the wisdoms and the resilience you get from that trauma. And allow your mind to create a new memory, a wiser memory, a more useful memory. Not believing that it's real, but thinking about knowing what you now know and knowing who you now are. How would you prefer things to have been? And then continue to see that memory constantly evolve until it happens as you want it to have happened. And as you're doing that, I want you to imagine from above there is a powerful, beautiful healing light not from the sun, from a different location. And this light represents the energy of love, peace and healing, but also forgiveness. You are forgiving the perpetrators of your past, not for their benefit, but for your benefit. And you are also forgiving your younger self by accepting that you did the best you could with what you knew back then. Allow this light to shine on you and feel the warmth of this light. This light of energy, love, peace, healing, safety and wisdom. Feel that as you forgive yourself and forgive those people from the past, that the trauma you've been holding on to is leaving your body and moving into the lake. Allow yourself to feel completely immersed in this light. Feeling the warmth, the healing energy that starts to vibrate at a cellular level and let go of the trauma. And your body's been trying to help you. But trying to help you in this way has kept you vigilant, stressed, angry and scared. And as you let go of that, you can feel safe, calm, confident, and at peace. As 
you continue to relax in this healing light, imagine yourself surrendering all of your fears. Imagine yourself surrendering all of your doubts. Imagine yourself surrendering all of your worries to a higher power, your higher self, your superconscious, your subconscious, the part of your mind that knows everything about you. Surrender your fears, doubts and worries to that part, the omnipotent part of you. Allow yourself to let go of any need to control or fix things and simply surrender to the flow of life. I want you to visualize yourself standing on the shore of that lake with your arms outstretched to the sky above. Feel the energetic light still on you. See the sun. See that three-dimensional memory completely different now as you feel a sense of surrender and trust as you allow yourself to be carried by the energy of the universe. As you connect into that feeling of energy and safety, I want you to accept that you now trust in the flow of life. You surrender to the guidance of your higher power, your superconscious mind, that you are safe and protected in this present moment. Feel the words create an impact in your body as you continue to let go of the need to control, the need for power, as you trust the power within you already. That healing light gives you a feeling of self-acceptance, forgiveness, and releases you from the pain and trauma of the past. Accept that these words are true, that you are safe, you are protected, that you are capable of not just releasing the trauma, but that you are releasing the trauma. And in doing so, you're finding inner peace and surrendering to the flow of life. When your unconscious mind has accepted these changes, feeling that you've released shame, anger, and trauma, and let it flow into the still, calm lake. Just let me know by nodding your head. And then imagine returning to the present, accepting that these are thoughts within thoughts, ideas within ideas, dreams within dreams, as you now return to the present, listening to my words firmly in the present, as you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, get a sense that all parts back in the present, listening to my voice. And as I count from one to ten, you will awaken all parts, all the resourceful parts, but accept that the shame, the anger, the anxiety of the past linked to that trauma is no longer in you. It is diluted in a still calm lake far away in your imagination, starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake. Wide awake. 